the experience of men, and in the United States, white men in particular, has been one of a non-trivial loss of uh, political, social, cultural, and economic power. And you guys may think like, no, white men are still dominant. Look at who the presidential candidates are. Look at who CEOs are, et cetera, et cetera. And I will say, you're absolutely right. But in a broad base, men's relative wages compared to all other kinds of groups over the last 40 years has declined in non-trivial ways. Men, their overall control over the cultural apparatus has gone from being like 99.5% to about 75%. And I think like here of like this, you know, beware the wounded lion, beware the way in which a former really dominant political actor has experienced a relative decline and is able to identify some people that are responsible for that. So who are the people who are responsible for the decline? Well, black Americans who used to be in much worse social conditions, who are hardly in great social conditions now, but it's way better than it was in the 1960s. Women who again are in not great, like, you know, they're not in dominant social positions, but it sure as heck is better than it was long ago. Gays and lesbians used to be an incredible incredibly marginal group in, in the United States. All of these groups have seen relative increases in their status and white men have experienced non-trivial status declines. And so as yeah. societies have like opened up to all kinds of groups that they haven't, they've re been close to before, there has been a palpable decline in the political power of the formerly dominant group. And there is a huge backlash against that. And we're seeing that, I think, in really pronounced ways in the United States. 